All right, so today we're looking at the portal vein, hepatic veins, superior mesenteric veins, um, and the goal is to uh, perform a complete hepatoportal Doppler. So looking at the pancreatic head, you can see the pancreas, and you can see the window I'm using to look at the pancreas. Um, you can see the pancreas there. You can see your uh, splenic vein coming in this way, your quarter confluence, your superior mesenteric is right about there. So I'm just going to go straight into Doppler just for time. So when imaging your superior mesenteric, um, actually that your splenic vein, um, you can definitely get a good look at the splenic vein just using this anterior approach there. And I'm just going to go ahead and Doppler. Um, I'm going to adjust my angle as well. Um, or you can use a zero degree angle if you like. But usually it's pretty good to use um, uh, 60 degrees or less when imaging your uh, doing abdominal dopplers. But with that being said, I'm just going to take angle off just to get a quick imaging here. And you can see in this case, just hold your breath right there for me. I'm just going to doppler the splenic vein. And as you can see, the splenic vein flow is going towards the transducer. Okay, breathe normal. Now I'm going to go right into, again, you want to consider using um, angle when scanning, but I'm just trying to avoid a long video here. So I'm just going to go right into um, pretty much just dopplering without uh, paying much attention to the angle. I'm going to take color off. And let me take color off here. And so that's my aorta. Again, this is my um, in transverse view. I'm going to slowly turn on that portal uh, confluent there so I can get my superior mesenteric vein. Right about there, I'm going to go ahead and put color. And I can definitely doppler my superior mesenteric vein right about there. Again, window matters, okay? So that's my superior mesenteric vein. Again, you're going to freeze that. You're going to measure it. Again, always put an angle, breathe normal. I'm going to go ahead and take color off again. At this point now, I'm going to try to look right, follow that portal vein into the liver. I'm going to try to follow the portal vein right into the liver. And I can use this window. Now, in order for me to get a positive Doppler shift and hepatopedal flow, I like to pretty much use an intercostal approach. That is going in between her ribs. And I'm going to go right in between the ribs there. And as I go in between the ribs, I can see my portal vein coming right into the liver. Deep breath in and hold it for me again. Thank you. And I'm just going to try to get a good window. There's the portal vein. And right there. I'm going to go ahead and put color on it. That is your portal vein right in the liver. Go ahead and breathe normal for me. But again, I want that nice parallel window. So again, I'm just going to kind of go again in between those ribs, as you can see as I'm going there. And that's it right there. I can see her portal vein. Main portal vein is right about there. I'm going to have you just stop breathing right there. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and doppler the portal vein. Again, I'm just, for time, I'm not changing angle. And you can see um, a portal vein. If I decide to put an angle on it, I can go ahead and put that angle. But I'm going to take the angle off because I'm not using angle at all right now. Breathe normal. So that is the portal vein. Okay. The main portal vein. I can also at this point, while I'm at this point here, I can also decide to get a hepatic artery. I'm just going to have you hold your breath right there. Now we know that the, uh, the liver receives its flow from the portal vein and the hepatic artery. I can decide to just doppler hepatic artery right there. And you can see, breathe normal, low resistant flow pattern, which is great because we're feeding, um, the hepatic artery is feeding a major organ. I'm going to come out of that again, and I'm going to go right into, just breathe normal, okay? I'm going to go right into her portal vein. I can see that right portal vein. As the right portal vein comes down, you can see it's a negative Doppler shift with the right portal vein. That right portal vein further split into the right posterior portal vein and the right anterior portal vein right about there. You can see that coming in. But I'm just going to go ahead and Doppler that right portal vein. Again, I'm going to take the angle off. The right portal vein is going to be a negative Doppler shift because of the way it dives down. So again, just kind of ignore that. Just hold your breath right there for me. That's the right portal vein. And I'm going to have you breathe normal. <clears throat> All right. So that's the right portal vein. I'm going to also try to get a left portal vein again. Keeping that same window, you can see where I am with this window. I am coming, I'm just sliding in between those ribs to get a nice window as I scan. I can also see her left portal vein right there. You can see it coming right in. 
vein portal vein right there, left portal vein right over there. And I'm just going to try to get a nice, there we go. Just hold your breath right there for me if you can. And again, I'm using a zero angle. I'm actually getting some of the artery right in that view. I'm going to come out of pulse. Breathe normal. Just breathe normal for me. Here we go. So it's a nice bend. Be normal. And I'm going to have you hold it again for me for a second. Try to get it in. Hold it right there. Breathe normal, left portal vein. I'm gonna come out of Doppler again. So again, what we've done so far is a main portal vein image, an hepatic artery image, right portal vein, which you can see again, I'm using a totally intercostal window because at that point, what you're able to do is get a nice angle on your vessel. I'm going to take color off and I'm just gonna to try to get a hepatic vein. All right, now we know that the hepatic veins is what drains the liver, okay? So go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. The best window for your hepatic vein is to use this kind of um, approach. Um, you can see your IVC right in there. You can see a middle hepatic vein. You can also see the left hepatic vein. And coming right across this way is your right hepatic vein. Breathe normal. I'm going to have a breathe normal again. I'm going to put color on this image. And just so you can kind of get that... Um, you can see, again, breathe deep breath in for me and hold it. Um, you can see the left hepatic vein. Um, the left hepatic vein and the right hepatic vein come together um, and dump right into the IVC. You can see your waveforms within your hepatic veins are a little bit pulsatile, breathe normal. I'm going to come out of that. And when you look at the right and um, the middle and the left hepatic vein, I'm going to take color off so you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. They sort of deep breath and hold it. And I'm going to freeze the image. If I can get it up. There we go. All right. You can see that you have your middle, your left. They come together and then dump right into the IVC. As opposed to the right hepatic vein, deep breath again and hold it one more time. There you go. And you can see in this case, the right hepatic vein comes on its own and also dumps into the IVC. All right, so hopefully this kind of gives you a basic, quick understanding on how to image your, uh, to do a complete hepatoportal Doppler. With that being said, many clinical sites will still expect you to take a look at the liver. Of course, you're going to get a good measurement of the liver as you scan. Um, you're going to also take a look at the spleen also, which is all the way to the left side here. Um, it's always good to take a look at the spleen where you're scanning. I'm going to see if I can get a good spleen on her. Breathe normal. Taking that deep breath and hold it. And you can see the kidney and you can see the spleen right in that image. And so that's pretty much it. Best of luck.